Now, I thought I'd go over today, I'd go over something that I always carry in my backpack when I'm hunting. Uh, whether I'm backpack hunting uh, for a day or for multiple days, or even if I'm just staying in one of the trailers that we have set up in different locations. And some of the hunt clubs we have, we've set up these old FEMA trailers and all, sometimes not all the stuff works in there like the cooking things like the stove and stuff. So I always carry a stove. Uh, the stove that I carry is the Jet Boil Flash. There's tons of different stoves out there, but this is the one that I carry. I'm gonna kind of go over uh, why I carry this one specifically. Uh, the first thing is, is that most of the time, if I'm hunting, I'm carrying the Mountain House meals. I might be the only person on the planet that likes Mountain House, but I actually like those, so I carry those with me. And the other thing is, is that it's all, it's pretty compact and really easy to carry. So I'm gonna go over how it works. So on the bottom, oh, the other thing is, is that if you go to, if you break any of the pieces to this, you can go to the Jet Boil website and just buy the pieces. You don't have to buy the whole stove again. That's the other reason I carry this, because if I mess a piece up, which I've done in the past, I just buy a replacement. So on the bottom, there's this uh, plastic cup can be used as a measuring cup or a bowl. I haven't used that. I haven't used it for that because it's pretty flimsy actually. And this is one of the pieces that I've broken in the past. So, but I use it to where I can keep the bottom closed up and clean for the most part, right? And then you have your main burner and inside or your main pot and inside your main pot, it came with a pot support and I'll go into this in a minute. You can also put in there a canister of fuel, uh, 100, this is 100 uh, canister of fuel, and then comes with obviously your burner, and it comes with a support for your fuel. So I'll show how this works. First you just put your fuel Lock it down to the support. And it comes with different sizes, so if you get a larger size can, it also clips into the larger size cans. I carry these small cans because they fit in the they fit in the pot. So and I know this one's not a, a jet boil uh, canister. That's what this is. This is jet boil canister fuel. This is the last one of these I have. This is the uh, the GSI canister. And to be honest, I can tell the difference between this one and the Jet Boil. The Jet Boil seems to, seems to get hotter faster. So uh, I'm going to start using the Jet Boil ones only. So then all you have to do is take the top off and on your burner, you flip out your knob here and just turn it down, screw it down on here. You hear some of the fuel come out, but that's okay. Keep turning past that. Now, I've seen people uh, fill this up with water and there's a mark in here for, can't really see how many ounces, but there's a mark in here for the number of ounces. It's like 12 to 12 ounces or something like that, 16 ounces but there's a mark in here to show you where to fill it up to. I've seen people fill it up, put this canister down and then light it. Now, if you do that, when you turn the gas on, cause there's no high and low setting on this burner, it's just all the way on or all the way off, you'll have some flame pop, uh, pop out potentially around this and come up, uh, which it leads me to the second piece that I've actually messed up from doing that in the past. I've actually burnt this koozie I burnt that, so I've had to replace that as well. But, uh, so now, um, and I think this is the right way you're supposed to do it, is I fill up the pot, light the uh, burner, and then put the pot down on top of the burner. So I'm not gonna sit here and make you wait the whole time for me to boil you know, a bottle of water, but that's, that's something that um, you should know to do fill this up first with your liquid 
and then light the burner. And then all you do is you put the burner on here and it locks in and you screw it and you tighten it down with one little tiny turn, right? That's, it, that's that easy. And then with it, with it already lit, you put the, you put this on. So that's one of the things that I've learned. Otherwise you'll burn your, you could burn your pot, your koozie on your pot. This one is pretty neat because as the water heats up, this actually changes colors and you can know that it's not that you won't know this boiling because you can hear it rolling in there but you'll know that it's boiling when this gets all the way uh filled up orange so that i think that's kind of neat as well so the pot support let's talk about the pot support so this boils water really quick i think two minutes ish to boil enough water to dump in your mountain house or to make your coffee. You can get a coffee press. I don't have that because I don't carry coffee with me um, when I go hunting so or backpacking. I don't carry coffee, so I don't have that, but you can get a coffee press as well. Uh, the pot, I would recommend not cooking anything in here, just boil water because I've cooked stuff. This is, the, this is probably the second pot I've got. This is, I've cooked stuff in here before and because it gets so hot, you can't really turn it down. It, there's a possibility that you cook and bake it into the bottom of the pot and then you got a mess to scrape out. So I only boil water here and I dump it in my, uh, in my meals. I don't cook anything in here. So uh, the pot support. So the pot support goes on real easy and it's supposed to be, I think, so that you can put another non-jet boil pot on top of there to boil water or I've seen people use this um, this is a jet boil skillet put on top of here. Now, I've tried this with this particular, uh, with the flash, and because there's no simmer on here, on this one, I, I burn, I burnt pretty much everything I've tried to cook in there. So, to take care of that, if I know that I'm going to carry this, and I know I'm going to be cooking, cooking something, other than just a a meal, a rehydrated meal. I actually carry a jet boil, regular jet boil stove, kind of like what the pocket rocket is, right? And this, this also has, th this has a simmer on it. So easy, easy one button lighting, and it has a simmer. And we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and show that. So this is only good, I think, if you're going to boil water in another pot. I wouldn't try to cook on that. So again, flip this out, roll out your legs there, your pot stays or whatever you want to call them, and it just spins right on. Here's some fuel coming out, but that's okay. And we'll go ahead and light this. So this is really easy. Oh. Right, all the way on, and what I really like about this one, is see you can turn it down. So if you if you don't want to burn your food, you can turn it down. Right, and turn it down real low. Now I haven't had any issue with this lighting in the wind. Uh, I haven't had any issues, so I'm not sure if the wind was blowing super hard, if, if maybe this would be difficult to light, but it, it doesn't seem to be difficult to light. And I haven't had any issues with lighting this either in the wind. We'll turn this off. Take this off. So not only do I carry this to cook with, but I've used it for other things too. So I've used this to help when, when I didn't have matches or anything to light a fire with. I've actually used this to help to dry out some wooden leaves to help light a fire. I know it's not meant for that, but it works perfectly well for that. And I stayed last year, and I don't know if, I wouldn't recommend this either necessarily, but I, I stayed in one of the trailers last year and it, I didn't pack the appropriate clothing and it got below freezing one night and, and I had nothing pretty much to stay warm with. So I actually used this and a canister of fuel and lit this. 
and it didn't warm the room up to where it was toasty hot or anything, but it did kind of knock, knock the chill off of my immediate area at least, right? So you can use it for that as well. And in a tent, this works a lot better. So if you're in a tent and you need to kind of, kind of knock the chill off in the morning before you uh, get out of your sleeping bag or whatever, this will, I mean, obviously depending on the size of your tent, but a one or two person tent, this will knock the chill off inside the tent. So I'll show you how I put the water in here and start the boiling process. It's pretty easy. Just look in here and fill it up to the line. Where's the line? Okay. And I also wouldn't, uh, I also wouldn't put this pot on the burner with it lit if there was no water in the pot because that could crack uh, the inside, that could crack the inside of the pot because it gets so hot so fast. So release the light, turn it on. It's not the uh, quietest thing in the world, right? But it's effective, and I've noticed that even in temperatures that are around freezing, this still boils water relatively quickly uh, for your rehydrated meals. This particular uh, burner works very well with, and this, is, this is all I've used it with. I, I've used it with this jet boil. frying pan or whatever you want to call it. I've used it with this. It works really well with this. It just packs down pretty well in my bag as well. But I don't carry this all the time. Like if I know that I'm only going to be eating mountain house meals or whatever, I don't uh, carry that at all. And I, and I leave this in my bag because it doesn't take up much weight at all. And you can see this is already starting to get, I'm looking at the camera, this is already starting to get to the point where it's about to boil. And there it goes. All right. Turn it off. And you should probably put the, you should probably put the, the lid on it to keep the water from, you know, you don't want to get splashed with hot, hot boiling water. The lid works well for that. There's a pour cup for you to pour your water straight out of the lid. There's also a strainer if you were to cook noodles or something in the pot. And again, I don't recommend doing that because I burnt stuff and had it get stuck inside the pot. And then there's the hole in the top for a coffee press that, that I don't have and don't, don't need, but there's also a hole in the top of that. So this is pretty much an all-in-one system that's really easy to pack. Everything goes right back in the, um, it's a lot easier to clean up too if you only boil water in it. Everything goes right back into the pot here and stows right back in your bag really easy. So this is something that I don't ever leave, uh, I don't ever go hunting without, no matter whether I'm going on a long trip or a short trip or whether I'm staying in a, in a tent or staying in a hotel room, uh, backpacking, whatever, or staying in one of our trailers, I take this because it's just convenient and I find that there's other uses for it as well. So that was just a real quick video on something that I pretty much never uh, leave the house without. So there are plenty of different stoves and I'm not telling you that Jetboil is the best. This is just the one that I picked mostly because I can replace the pieces and stoves away really easily. That's why I picked it. So if you have your favorite stove that you take with you all the time, why don't you leave that in the comments? And uh, if you like short videos or videos like this, going over firearms, knives, hunting, camping, 
supplies, ex uh, equipment, etc., please uh, consider liking or subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. So hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day.